Welcome back and many thanks indeed for your time this morning. Let's say a few happy birthdays to Eleanor Adocho Hoffman. It's your birthday today. Also to you, little Ifia Ampia or Bing Winfred. You're two years today and a belated one to Aram Asante, your nurse at the Anka Fourth Psychiatric Hospital and Cape Coast. This is from your colleague, uh, Vitus Aduni, and also Adrela and uh, Gertrude Saki. You are baby and mama, four years Adrela, and your mother's uh, age, we're told, is a national security uh, conversation, so we cannot have it. But the Daily Dispatch this morning uh, by Ben Efson and his team says, how COVID-19 exposed Ghana's living standard. 16.5 million persons do not have toilets at home. More shocking statistics on page two. Go on the stands and grab one. Read articles by ex-president John Mahama on page five and nine, and Mr. Freddie Blay, national chairman of the MPP on pages five, six, and nine. Age and sex uh, breakdown of the 15.7 million registered voters in all the 10 regions in 2016. Perhaps to shut all the, the doubts about whether or not we need a voters, uh, new voters register. The final newspaper, 113 new infections, 301 recoveries, Total COVID-19 cases hit 780, uh, 7,881 with 2,841 total recoveries. Completion date of infectious disease fatality shifted to June 30. ICOMS takes over at Temaport today. And UK aid backed zipline drones facilitate Ghana's COVID-19 fight. The Ghanaian Times. As nation marks World No Tobacco Day, FDA warns 500,000 smokers risk contracting COVID-19. Student Loan Trust Fund to disburse 32.3 million Ghana cities by the end of 2019-2020 academic year. Vincent Esufwa is the PR of the Ministry of Education. Zoom line disinfects Central Mosque in response to Chief Imam's appeal. And 16 women napped over fake currency printing distribution in the Ashanti region, Kumasi. Daily Guide, Men's Gold, Payboy Saga, Number One Cash Gang Arrested, and they have distanced themselves from uh, Men's Gold uh, and uh, Obinim for court today. NDC position observed, EC fires back on the matter of the new voters register. Ignore warmongers, Freddie Blay uh, is telling all of us. Zoom line disinfects Central Mosque. And the Daily Graphic, Ghana's oldest newspaper. COVID-19 pandemic restrictions eased. Schools reopened for final year students. Abridged religious activities begin. Borders remain closed. Limited political activities. And uh, also the Volta Lake boat disaster. Six more bodies have been retrieved. And EC's decision to compile new voters register. Laudable Jacob Oseyebua, uh, a former presidential, uh, uh, independent presidential candidate. BNF team. Uh, ICOMS takes over Temaport today. Phase one of the reviving economy outdoored as restaurants, conferences, and schools open partially. My guest this morning is Reverend in Tim Fojo. He is the member of parliament for the Asin uh, North. South. South. Asin South constituency. It's been a while since he's been here. And also, Mr. Uh, Govins, Honorable Govins uh, Kwame Agboja. He is the member of parliament for the good people of Adaklu. And around here, sometimes we call him the Adaklu Messiah. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Okay. Yeah. Reverend, morning. it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. Where, where have you been it's, hiding? It's been a while. We've been around, and, and it's good to see you. Good, good to, to, see. to see you again. Yeah. Good to see you too. Kwame, how are you? I'm not very fine this morning. Yeah, the, you're, you're once the, again, you're the Messiah of Adaklu. Why are you? No, I'm just uh, a servant. A, a servant <laughs> of uh, Adaklu. Uh, the rains have started uh, wreaking havoc again. Mm. Uh, our roads have been washed off mm. once again. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's cut off some uh, communities. And uh, what it means is basically even access to health workers mm -hmm. in some areas is, uh, is going to be problematic. And, wow. uh, I've been in touch with uh, the regional uh, uh, Fida Roads director mm -hmm. who uh, promised to see what they can do uh, if they pay a visit. So mm -hmm. it's not it's not all joy in the constituency this morning. Wow. Okay. I'm sure it's a year of roads, so we will get to it. Uh, the the Daily Graphic ca carried a story of, of President Akufuado yesterday announcing a phase one of the easing of restrictions beginning on the 5th of June, that's Sunday, and at the 10th update of the Ghana, uh, Ghana's enhanced response to coronavirus pandemic, the president um, mentioned that schools, churches, mosques, funerals, conferences, workshops, 
weddings and political activities except rallies as the areas that would benefit from the strategic controlled progressive safe easing of restrictions so funerals are part of it and he said that the decisions was taken based on the stakeholder consultations over the last few weeks with entities in the health labor religious chieftaincy educational hospitality transport sports uh, tourism and creative sectors so by mid-june schools will start going churches will start uh, by 5th June with some hundred, uh, no more than 100 people, and they would have to do one hour and on and on. Reverend, the, the government has consistently told us that every decision that's been taken thus far has been backed by science and data. Now, what is the science and data supporting this decision and with, with timing? So 7, 7 or 8, and maybe you do, you do your time and then maybe 10, and then Kwame takes over. Yeah, What's the science and data backing these decisions? Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Um, since March 12th, when Ghana first had the report of the first two confirmed cases, um, even prior Robert, to that, sorry, there were your, a number your mic, of... You've covered your microphone with your... Okay. Yes, okay. sure. There have been a number of measures that the President of Kufada's government has put in place to ensure that we stop the importation of, mm -hmm. of, of uh, COVID-19 mm -hmm. and that uh, we control the spread and uh, subsequent to that we've seen very austere restrictions that were put in place and of mm -hmm. course these were all based on data and science, these were based on broad-based consultations with the relevant experts and stakeholders in mm -hmm. wide range of sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, at whatever decisions that Ghana was taking was not being taken in isolation. Globally many countries across the world that mm -hmm. were also taken by surprise from late um, 2019 to early 2020, also had to be able to take in some very austere restrictions mm -hmm. based on, 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 on research, based on data, based on science, mm -hmm. and, and on experts' um, advice. Now, you recall that since the coming into being of COVID-19, the world over was new, was novel, very little knowledge existed about the virus, and it was very dangerous dealing with a new virus that very little is known about it. So whilst you're taking in very uh, austere restrictions to contain the spread, mm -hmm. then you're, you're putting in place various protocols also to ensure the protection of your people. As we went along, uh, many organizations and institutions, mm -hmm. international institutions and personalities, WHO mm -hmm. and others, have touted Ghana's efforts and, and the very diligent management of the 19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, even WHO had had occasions to uh, tout Ghana on per capita basis as the best as a country that has pro provided the best testing results. Mm -hmm. we, we recall that when it started, we had to first and foremost um, uh, bring some restrictions, impose some restrictions. There was a um, EI-64 that was imposed on 15th of March to, uh, to ban social gatherings and certain um, events to make sure that our schools are closed, our places of worship were closed, and certain other places of, 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 of uh, mass gatherings were all banned and that was to be sure and f further on to that we had a lockdown all this was to contain the spread was to even study the behavior of the virus mm. and to be able to see how it can be contained now be that as it may and it's on record that the, the all the cases we had were mainly imported cases and we, what we needed to do was to ensure that the community spread was as much as possible um, minimized mm. we had a lot of contact tracing enhanced surveillance enhanced testing. Mm -hmm. Now we, we've tested over 200,000 um, samples and confirmed cases, unfortunately, certain around 8,000. Uh, but the more you test, the more that you're likely to find. Um, um, uh, and so even as we, we wish that we could have had the opportunity to test more the globe, the globally, uh, you need to be strategic even in the way that you test. You don't just, uh, you need to do targeted testing to ensure that you're able to um, uh, target our people that potentially could be even asymptomatic. Now we've had the good news that as recovery rates is, is very good. We have over nearly 3,000, 2,947 um, people that have recovered, even as, um, which is in the regions of over 30% recovery rates, which is quite impressive. And we did not, in our case, we did not have a lot of critical cases, people in critical conditions. And, and that is uh, one good news that we thank God for. Unfortunately, even if it's one reported death, it's, it's still very significant. Right. No, every life is very precious. 
we ended up having 36 deaths so far, uh, which is regrettable, which is unfortunate. Compared to what exists elsewhere, we would have cause to thank <laughs> God that our death rate is not even as worse as it is, and, and it's still, the fatality rate is still uh, below 0.4%. And so, based on all these, and couple with the fact that uh, the world, uh, this is a global pandemic, so many countries that have also been confronted with this pandemic have also been taking various measures. India was running one of the, one of the longest lockdowns, and they recently have eased it. Um, many countries which had even much higher numbers of reported cases have begun easing their restrictions, all based on, on data. Uh, as we speak, so we have... So what is our data? What is our data? Oh, no, uh, let, let, let me put let me a point and quickly I will land on that. Uh, let's, let's look at what is just out, out there. The United States of America has over 1.7 million reported uh, cases or confirmed cases of COVID-19 mm. and, uh, and uh, over 100,000 deaths that have been recorded. They have, for the past three weeks, been easing in, in, in various stages their restrictions and ensuring that uh, people get into the new normal, albeit under very safe conditions. Mm. France with over 150,000 confirmed cases with 28,000 deaths also uh, as, uh, even from last week, we were in the, in the stage two, phase two of the easing of their restrictions. Mm -hmm. uh, Germany, 138,000 cases, confirmed cases, with uh, about 8,500 um, deaths, had also eased significantly their restrictions. Um, as, a, as a matter of fact, Bundesliga is even being played. And um, we, uh, we have many other countries, but with time, I'll just be very brief. Is, 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 the, is, the, government, is the government under pressure? socio-economic, no, no, educational, it's, religious it's, pressure. It's not, not, it's not a matter of pressure. M mind the mic for me, please. Yeah, um, mm. It's not a matter of pressure. It's a matter of prudent management of the case. And um, let me just run through this. Just two more countries, and then mm. I'll come back to that. Spain now has 239,000 confirmed cases and um, 27,000 deaths. They have eased significantly. You know, Spain was one of the countries in Europe that was badly hit by the pandemic. They have eased significantly their restrictions. Um, Italy, we, we, there were times where the, the number of deaths on a daily basis that were reported were being reported were quite devastating. Now they said around 232 confirmed cases and 33,000 deaths. They have significantly eased their restrictions. And, and, and New Zealand had opened some schools and Canada, had, some portions have opened some schools. But all these, like I said, this is a virus that has come to stay, a virus that's many, that has kept a lot of laughs around the world very busy uh, trying to find cure, trying to find vaccine. And we are hoping and praying that very shortly there should be a breakthrough, there should be a miracle in those laps to be able to find a cure, to be able to find a vaccine to deal with this a virus. So, so, but until then... So, so I asked the question. Until, I said, until, until then... Look, what is the science and data that supported the easing of the restrictions? Um, no, I've, I've given you the statistics of, okay. of our, 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 um, our situation, mm. the death rates, the recovery rates, the cases, uh, the daily rate of infection that mm. for the past week is going down, the daily rates, mm. mm. not, not the, the cumulative rate, the okay. daily rate of mm. infection is going down and we have been able to, we had a, a partial lockdown that was imposed and then after three weeks it had to be lifted because now we were able to at, at least um, uh, have have a grip on on on, on the, the uh, contact tracing mm -hmm. on how the, the 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 movement of the and the spread of the virus and so we've come to a point where we cannot in perpetuity you know stay in our homes and lock down our schools and lock down our churches lock down our mosques lock down the, the various places of works uh, jobs we, we in perpetuity we cannot deny our children the opportunity of education okay. and so having having regard to the fact that until we find a vaccine, we need to be able to adapt to the new normal, mm. meaning a new normal that is living under very safe conditions and uh, very strict um, hygiene protocols mm. that will protect the citizenry, that will contain the spread, and at the same time ensure that people have the liberty to be able to return to some form of normalcy okay. until such a time that we're able to find a cure. Because as we sit here, we don't know whether it's going to take a year, it's going to take 10 years, it's going to take seven months, whatever period. So, so that there's no we're, pressure on the government? There's no pressure. Socioeconomic, just, just educational, religious. The, this, the, and, and I've given you instances of countries over 10. These are countries that are within the first 10 badly hit 
um, um, countries of the mm -hmm. pandemic. In, in with the confirmed cases over 100,000 and death rates, even minimum of these that are mentioned in 20,000 death rates. These were in devastating conditions as a result of the pandemic. Mm. And would you say that the easing of, of the restrictions was based on pressure? No, was based on a combination of scientific factors, mm. on, on a co combination of, of factors in the best interest of the citizenry with their protection ultimately as, as the priority. Okay. And, and so what we're saying here is that if a country okay. is to ease restrictions, if a country is easing restrictions, it does mm. not mean that uh, the, 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 the ban on social gatherings and the way the, and the etiquettes that were introduced have been removed mm. and that people are, are encouraged to get engaged in risky behaviors that would trigger a second wave. That is not what we are saying. What okay. we are saying is that the, the etiquettes must still be with us. And Johnny, mm. uh, believe you me, well, you even, be, be up even the before episode. the coming into being of COVID-19, these so-called COVID-19 etiquettes that have come to, to, to be with us ought to have even been a part and parcel of our, our society. Mm -hmm. Wash of hands and, uh, and with soap and running water and ensuring that you, uh, you, 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 uh, you adhere to very strict protocols. Most of these hygiene protocols, even in, in themselves, okay. prevent many other viruses that are with us mm -hmm. that are also incurable. Okay. I mean, uh, there are many, many um, viruses. Thank you that are with us and in, just in conclusion that are with us you're, that, you're, that you're, you're, you're we are still hoping to find you're, you're, cure you're, you're but we have been able to manage your time, to your be time able to up. find I'm safe sorry. procedures I'm, I'm sorry. and safe I'm lifestyles sorry. and practices I'm to sorry, live with them time is and that grateful. these have been Pamit, the principles that have for me, motivated uh, our uh, reverend says there's no pressure socioeconomic pressure educational religious pressure we are returning to normalcy and uh, even though we're here to find a vaccine we have to live with the virus, so we have to be, uh, you know, very measured in how we go about it. But I'm asking you now, have we shown discipline enough as a people to merit this ease of restrictions? And can we manage it? Do you see pressure? Do you not? Well, uh, Johnny, first of all, uh, good morning to you once again. Good morning to my colleague, my brother, uh, uh, Honorable. Uh, good morning to the church viewers from uh, Adaklu. Uh, he's done uh, almost 15 minutes uh, of... Uh, no, no, he's, he's done 10, I beg you. 10, eh? Okay. Now, uh, where, where are we now? We are uh, at a stage where the president once again mm -hmm. uh, did a recorded uh, uh, broadcast mm -hmm. and can only tell people that they are going to play the recorded break, uh, uh, broadcast at 7 o'clock. Mm. So I can imagine a lot of your colleagues who are journalists would have gone to print their papers ahead of the president's uh, uh, rec uh, record. Mm. Uh, there was because no seven you know, there, there, was, there was no time. Uh, no, there was in fact, no there was... No, there was, no, there was no, what, what we saw initially... They said it was, was fake. 9.30. Yes, then they said it was fake. But it was shared on the, on the WhatsApp status of some key government officials. Exactly. But, but then was, then, the then they came out the, the, then, they, then they came out and said it was fake. Mm. Then it came 10 o'clock. The whole thing, the, what, or the point I'm making is that mm. it doesn't help anybody when the president can't address the nation live. And then you can't even tell the people <laughs> exactly when you will be able to do that. <laughs> it, it is part of what he's supposed to be doing. He's supposed to help you guys, educators. Mm. So if that time is, is always at large, it doesn't help anybody. But where are we now? The president has gotten to a point where his own uh, status as a president, uh, a, 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 running, a, a, a candidate for mm. election mm. is in abeyance. His party hasn't done uh, their primaries. So this <laughs> lifting of or easing of part of the registration has nothing to do with science. You, you kept asking my colleague, where is the science behind it? He gave you a chronology of other countries whose health system, whose management of this have been completely different. In fact, he cited examples of how America, with all their deaths and the infection, have eased. In fact, he's a reverend. He would have been aware that when Trump unilaterally went and pretended that all people are with him, that it should ease the restrictions, the church says, no, we won't go. The churches, he told the churches you can start. What did the churches say in America? We won't go. No, the churches belong to us. We are not going to church. Some, some want to. Yeah, 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 quiet for you. I think it's only honorable, fair. Honorable, you, honorable. I think it's I, only I, fair that yes, you, exactly. you note your, your reservations. Yes. And, then no, 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 no. and I can tell you, this easing, in fact, it's not even phase one. 
we've been easing these things over the period of time. But this is a major one. E exactly. This is a major one with churches. E and exactly. So and I'm, and I'm, what the government says. And I'm is saying. One. And I'm saying, mm. what informs this? If you say this is all informed just because of some signs, mm. we can't see the signs. Voter region numbers just doubled. According to yesterday's uh, 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 figure, the president uh, 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 put I know up. many people are dying. People well, are recovering. But, but it's not only when you are sick, you are sick. When you are infected, you are a threat to yourself and others. So it is not, you don't have to be dead to be able to, 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 to be a threat. So this is the point we are making. Mm. And I can tell you simply because the president, and he was bold enough to put it in the edition, the aim of the president is to ease the restrictions using other parameters, including let's first year, say last year's go to school, mm. let churches go. So he will justify the, re the reason why he should go and do his own primaries and get elected or confirmed as a presidential candidate and let his prim uh, party do their primaries. It has nothing to do with any science or anything. <laughs> Look, when you listen to some of the things that the president the, said... The virus is living with us. The, uh, well, yes, but the, the point is that when, when, it, is, when it is raining mm. and you know you have an issue with rain or if you have a problem, you don't just jump into it simply because of uh, all die, be die kind of a thing. That is, that is the mentality that he's coming on here. And some of the things the president said, I don't understand. What, what when you say you go, uh, uh, first of all, the churches, uh, uh, people uh, 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 hundred, up to 100. hundred, hundred, hundred there are hundred. churches that are a thousand members. So what, what are you expecting the pastor to do? Call everybody and say, well, I'm doing a, roast, uh, a roaster. Uh, some of you can come to church this Sunday or at one o'clock. Some of them, uh, what, how are they supposed to do this and police it? When I go to my constituency in Adapu, mm. I don't see people being able to observe this the way the government wants it, simply because they are under stress. Parts of Accra, mm. for three weeks, didn't have water. Eh? Mm. How, how are they supposed to practice uh, 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 hygiene? Because you said, wash uh, your hand under running water. Mm. You just read the, the, the Daily Dispatch, dispatch. we say 16,000 households, 16 million. 16 million people say don't have access to toilet. So how are, they people, how are these people supposed to practice a, a pure hygiene? And I'm saying that when the president says mm. that some schools, and they said the Ministry of Education will come out with deta details, some schools will be fumigated. My brother, schools have been closed down for months now. Mm. We are told by Lancet, Lancet is a, a world-class uh, journal in terms of uh, medicine, mm. says that the longest they've seen so far with the virus surviving is seven days. The schools have been closed down for, for months. Is there any COVID in any school currently? that you needed to go and fumigate. No! But, um, but it only makes sense to fumigate the churches and the schools. No, and I'm saying that the churches have been closed down. Mm. The schools have been closed down. We are told by signs okay. that the virus only lasts for seven days on the surface. Okay. Because up to now, the most potent way of transmission is through human contact. That's right. Now, if the schools have been closed down, churches have been closed down for months, mm. what are you fumigating there? I can tell you why they are doing it. Tell me. It is a way of distributing the 16.5 the 16.7 oh, billion that, Ghana CD to NPP that, members that, that's absurd. I'm saying, I'm saying that is serious quite, quite listen Reverend 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 listen that, no, but Reverend, you grant these listen, are Reverend, submissions Reverend you had your time listen. he kept quiet for you not because I did not I said I if you have conjecturing I Reverend to observe uh, uh, if you have reservations note them of course listen, I will, you I will can raise them but it's it's not fair to be interrupting him of course he kept quiet for you I beg you allow me to do my work please that's what I expect so allow me to do my work. Mr. Hughes, Absolutely. I'm saying this. I've given you the signs of the, 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 the way uh, uh, COVID behaves. But, but you are suggesting <laughs> that this is to allow for money to be distributed. Let me, to let me, people. let me, let how, me. How did you learn? Let that? me, let me do this, and then you tell me what I've said to you. Mm. What to be the basis? I'm saying that the signs told us. Mm -hmm. COVID can only last on surfaces. In this case, the longest it lasts is on, on, on uh, surgical seven marks. The, uh, surgical marks, the behind the surgical marks, mm -hmm. for seven days. Mm -hmm. The schools, churches have been closed down for months. Mm -hmm. It is not possible for you to have any COVID on any school compound now. It, is, it can only be taken there when the people there return. So when you are fumigating the schools that have been closed down for, uh, um, uh, for months, I'm saying that can only be an ulterior motive to take part of the 16.7 billion Ghana city with that, that and distribute it to party people. That is false. Tell me, that tell is me, uh, Mr. Hughes, mm. tell me the sign behind the fumigation of a surf, uh, of an area which is not contaminated. Tell me. Now you are also a citizen. You are not a, 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 a spectator. Tell me what will be the basis. I, I don't answer questions here. Okay, <laughs> so I'm telling you. The that, management. That, that this is the motive. This is the motive of fumigation of the schools <laughs> and other things because by science, uh, by science, as of today. 
Mm. We are not supposed to have COVID on school compound because they are not being used. Right. And they, they, they said the disease only lasts for seven days, according to science. And I'm saying that MPP is basically be, uh, benefiting from this in the mm. sense that we've given them 6.7 billion uh, of our cash, which they are hardly able to account for, apart from that, that we are paying some electricity bill, we are paying some water bill, mm. which is evident. They are paying some. The rest, <laughs> we, we are unable to tell. Just last week, we fed, we fed people. We fed people for a few weeks, and much of that was done by private sector. And let's give let's let's give let's give let's give let's give, let's give, let's give credit <laughs> let's give credit to the private you sector and the churches for the yeoman's job they've done. They fed people, so it's even difficult for you to no. tell exactly who the government fed with that amount of money. They said they were going to feed for three uh, three months. Uh, then they came to parliament. We gave money to feed for three months. They fed for three weeks and they stopped. So we are even looking for a balance of that money. Okay. Now on fr on last week, the finance minister came to raise another bond for ten billion. So, because of COVID alone, MPP have got 16.7 billion Ghana CD in their hand. And you are telling me that the number of people you tested is equal to something that we have done great. And I'm saying that some people are beginning to see COVID as a way of benefiting. Just like in some uh, notorious people's family, when even somebody dies, the person who is supposed to buy a coffin even sees it as an advantage to make but, the family. But, but that would be unfair to, and, and my, this is my final question, that would be unfair to uh, the government because yesterday the president had to put some statistics as to how many PPEs, for example, had been submitted. If you give me a little chance, I'll, I'll read that out to you. And he says, well, as of today, 31st May, that was yesterday, under these measures, we have con conducted 218,425 tests, 8,070 positive cases, 29, uh, 2,947 recoveries, 36 deaths, 13 persons uh, severely ill, three critically ill, for which one is on ventilator. 5,087 for treatment uh, at home, isolation, and hospitals. I'm looking for the PPE part. Well, it's, um, and it says we have lessened Me. our dependence on foreign imports and scaled up Me. significantly on domestic production and distribution of personal Mr. protective Hughes, equipment. What you have read? So, no, 440,690 globes, 3,524,000. Mr. 205 nose masks, 62,194 goggles, 109,829 liters of sanitizers. Uh, there are head covers, medical scrubs, and all of that. Mr. In, in millions. Yeah. Mr. So Hughes, you, you can't say Mr. that. Mr. Mr. Hughes, what is the total cost of that? I'm just prompting you. Reverend, Mr. Reverend, Mr. Reverend, for you. you. you, are time Reverend I'm just for you. you if you stop, if you stop rudely interrupting. I don't know, Johnny. We I would have, we would have, no, 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 I'm no, prompting no, you. You must no. 10 minutes. But he kept quiet. And I'm, I'm prompting you. That each, is 10 each, minutes. Each time you speak up. Do not, do not bring controversy on this matter. Reverend. I'm only respectfully Reverend. drawing your Reverend. attention Reverend. that my Reverend. good Reverend friend has spoken for, for 10 minutes. Reverend is for job. I think that this platform is noble enough for all no, of us. No, no, please, please. Now, do not, do no, not Reverend, go into that. Reverend, Reverend, do not go into that. Do Reverend, not make much ado Reverend about this. I'm prompting you Reverend that my Inti colleague Inti has spoken for ten minutes. Reverend, Inti Inti you want to take? <laughs> you spoke unhindered, uninterrupted. <laughs> Since he started speaking, and everybody else is watching, you've been interrupting. I have had to prompt you four times to note your disappointment. You think that all those seconds were not taken away from his time? You need to be fair to us. No, but you, we, we, so be fair to very, very well, but I'm not going let to me, allow let these conjectures and me put false my, allegations. Let me, so you, you have your time to speak. Absolutely. But don't interrupt, please. Uh, I that's why I'm prompting uh, you. That but he didn't interrupt. Over. Now, so, me, my question is that yeah, you've read, the things you read. These have been provided by government. Yes. You cannot so, therefore so, say that so, the money has so been I'm saying to you, misapplied. What is the total value of what they have been provided? You know that. Okay. I, as Kwame Aguja, as an individual, provided over 30,000 Ghana cities for my district health directorate. Hmm? Not from MP Common Fund, as my own money. And like I've always said, I provided more money as a person than the president I did it through his salary. I'm saying that the 16.7 billion Ghana CD is not that, that is not what you are accounting for here. And I'm saying, and I gave one example, that, that this money is a lot of money. And that is what I'm saying to you that while science tells us that there's no need to go and fumigate the schools because the schools have not been opened, that, that COVID doesn't last for more than seven days, 
They are only going there to fumigate the schools because they want to distribute some of this money. Okay, thank you. Reverend, you had reservations. Uh, let me give you... But I'll come uh, back. Uh, because yes, yes, you, give you, you, you would get your, yes. you get your fresh. Let me, give you yeah, Johnny, minutes, let me give you three minutes so that you... Johnny, God, God knew what was about to come, probably okay. while he saved Ghana from the hands of the NDC. Just imagine really? that with a, with a level of the, the kind of argument mm. being espoused by the NDC, that their NDC science is against fumigation, and, and with a level of argument espoused by the frontline debaters and the so-called experts of their frontline parliamentary debaters in health, they are, they are about autoimmune, and the kind of, of, of argument put forth in such critical times and such serious matters as COVID-19 pandemic, where Ghana's uh, strategies and all the decisions that were taken have been touted and confirmed by WHO mm. notable organizations and experts as, as very credible, mm. as, as top-notch, as um, leading light in the sub region and even the world at large. Mm. This is the argument that NDC is able to put out. Now, the cheap politics around this, which uh, many, many have advised NDC against doing it, but they keep falling into the same temptation, is absurd and unfortunate. Mm. As a matter of fact, if, the, if fumigation mm. was a source of great loot and share, which NDC saw an opportunity, which they would have done, mm. then let me announce that that is the difference between NDC and MPP. We did not, we did not seek opportunity in, in, in crisis to create loot and share, not even when things are normal. And so that would, every, every penny that was allocated to, uh, to the finance ministry mm. and every other agency to fight the pandemic is being accounted for and will be accounted for to the okay. penny. Mm. And so if that was their mind, now when it comes to uh, parliamentary primaries. You know, the, the, the inconsistent and, 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 and the inconsistent contradictory positions NDC has held mm -hmm. at every decision that has been taken and everybody has touted even beyond the nations of Ghana. We've seen videos of notable persons and tweets of presidents and other notable institutions, you know, touting Ghana's effort. It's only NDC that does not see any good is in our national effort. To go and now, again, the money they, they said, they said, they said, is there any truth to that? They, no, I, I have already debunked that. If they wanted to create loot and share as a result of the pandemic, that's what God has saved Ghana from. Okay. NDC would have done exactly what Honorable Aguja has given indication of. But MPP has, is diligently applying the resources that is available. The legal how, how resources people are supposed available to, to churches? You are a pastor, now, thankfully. Now, yes, pastor I'll come to that briefly. Now, the how, party how selection... Plan, how do you plan to implement that directive from the presidency? Uh, uh, the president, in a minute, I'll just come to that. And that's a very important point. Now... He makes the point, he makes an allegation, very, very absurd, that uh, this easing of restrictions, just as every other country who even have much higher death rates and higher confirmed cases have done, is because we want to do uh, presidential primaries. I mean, even a party constitution states clearly, the party has the opportunity to select. The, 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 the selection of our candidates, presidential, parliamentary, is in the hands of National Executive Committee. So we have uh, the opportunity to even decide who and who to, to go, even if we decide not to go for primaries. So at the easing of the restriction, it's not based on primaries. Our every decision we have taken is based on our, our, our with, the, with the, the protection of the people of Ghana, their well-being, their welfare, and the need as, as, as the uh, physiological, psychological need mm. as a person to be able to return to some form of normalcy, even in the midst of this pandemic. Okay. Now, the, if the 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 the, the, the decisions that they are so-called COVID-19, NDC COVID-19 team you know, have espoused, is that they are against fumigation. That is unfortunate. And that yeah, exposes the level of thinking. The level of thinking. That is the NDC. Seven days. According to the NDC science. Now, what... Is, is, it, according, what, is it according to the what, NDC science? That is science? according to NDC science. That they wouldn't have done any fumigation. They wouldn't have done... But be that as it that, may. Does, that, it make, that, does it make sense, Reverend, but, though, but, that... that uh, but, well, Johnny, of all that he said, did you ever ask him, when I had an opportunity yes. for him to submit, yeah. what science is he apprised of? That gives a contrary method or a contrary intervention in a time as this. If NDC were in the seat, based on the science available to them, what alternative measures would they have done different from the announcement that the president gave in yesterday's address? Okay. That is what I expect to hear. Did that you, is an intellectual did, did, did you, engagement. Did you, did you, that is what so I was expecting. That, oh, the right, science right, right, available right. to me says this, and NDC, if we were in power, mm. we would have done this, would have done But instead, he says there are people who, are, who do not have water. Mm. Can Honorable Abuja tell me which communities in Ghana have complained that they do not wash their hands 
They do not wash their hands ever since the washing of hands and the running water became one of the are protocols. You, are you, are you by is this, he alleging that? Are you, are you no, no, please. He must. He Reverend, must. He, he Reverend, that are you, are, you must this, are you by this suggesting that the people who are complaining that they don't have water? No. How? That is what I'm okay. saying. In the midst of all these, in the midst of no, no, it, the, in the midst of the same conditions we've led with, and 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 the general uh, 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 challenges that some parts of the country have led with, you know, have we have we had any evidence? Of a group of people, a community, mm. saying that we haven't been able to wash our hands okay. under running water and soap. Please, this is not a time to okay. do some of these Deal politics. The church. Now let me come. Let me come to the church. This trivial politics in. ought to be avoided. Now, um, President Kufuor says that it is best, and it is best, and uh, I agree with him largely. Many experts have agreed with him. Broad-based consultations with all relevant stakeholders in various sectors have agreed that. We need to return to some form of a new normal. But it ought to be done cautiously, it ought to be done tactfully, it ought to be done very safely. Mm. And, and so it has to be systematic. It has to be very graduated. And so it has to be done in stages. Our mm. schools and churches cannot remain closed forever. So now the, the stage one of the, the, the easing, and this was done with wide range consultations with religious How leaders. How are you going to implement it as the, a pastor? As a matter of fact, even before these announcements were made, mm. at the uh, Christian Council, uh, the Ghana Pentecostal Council, the Charismatic, the Catholic bishops, all the religious uh, um, organizations, mm. the, uh, the Islamic Council, they've all, they had all come up with proposals of protocols that they thought based on science and expert advice was going to be helpful and to protect people if we are to ease restrictions on, 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 on churches. Now, with what the president has announced, what it means is that no matter how large your auditorium is, you ought, you ought to sit a maximum 100 people. Mm. And you ought to ensure that if it is, <laughs> if, if it's, the, if it's not too large, and that, that 100 may not be too large a number, then it has to be 25% of the capacity. And to ensure that there's that safe one meter rule interval. And, be, and, and mandatory wearing of masks. You know, my mask is troubling me, so mm -hmm. it keeps coming off. So pardon me, um, bear with me that I keep putting it back. So mandatory wearing of masks mm -hmm. for every uh, congregant that is to enter. And be, prior to entry, how, there must be hand ensure, washing, how do we there must be sanitizers place. How, how do we ensure this? We send police around? No, what, the, the, what, do we, what do we do? As a matter of fact, I'm telling you, uh, um, I, I engage a lot with the religious leaders. There's, there's no church, as we speak, that absolutely has not prepared in advance in anticipation of, of, of these things. Okay. And so when you're so, to so go they around knew, to check... So you that there was going to be the, 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 the lifting of the restrictions? No, we, we have been preparing all this while uh, to be able to return to normal. And we, we, we are saying that we cannot, just as HIV is staying with us, hepatitis B is staying with us, we, we, we cannot close our churches, our okay. schools, you know, our workplaces until such a time when we find a cure, particularly okay. when we do not know. Okay. Thank you. And, so, and, and so all these um, safe uh, protocols is what I will signal every religious leader, every congregant to be so minded mm. to adhere strictly to the protocols announced by the president. Okay, thank uh, you. Uh, and, and significantly you. have been uh, contained in the address. And further to that, the Ministry for um, Religious Affairs mm. will also give further clarity and details. And so that is what I expect. Thank you. Thank you. And force us go point, around. Your point is well made. A good level you, you started of at 7.32. Uh, it is now 7.40. Kwame, I'm sure you have the same measure of time if you want. Yes. Um, so that we, we are fair in yes. everything we're thank, doing. Thank you very now, much. Now, Reverend is insisting that, look, this was well thought through, broader consultations, and so now the churches are in sync with it, for example, and they would all abide by it. How does that sound to you? Uh, well, you see, Johnny, there's nobody in this country who thinks that we can live in this forever. Indeed, the NDC Technical Committee on COVID did outline some of the things we needed to do. Mm. And indeed, I'm surprised that he's not aware that the few things that we have done appropriately Mm. as a country, we are actually lifted from what the NDC, <laughs> COVID-19, technical team, who, are, who is made false. up of... Hold on, hold on, hold on for me, family. Reverend, we had a conversation. <laughs> I haven't interrupted. Please, let him go ahead. If he has difficulty, he let kept, him express. He kept quiet for oh, you. Please. I expect please. you to keep quiet for him as well. Please. I did not, I I did not you, spew, Reverend I did not spew falsehood. So, 
Reverend John Intim for there are things you said that I'm sure Kwame disagreed with, but he kept quiet for you. Johnny, I think you have an interest in, in probably taking a very good uh, uh, taste from this show. Otherwise, he's going ahead. He hasn't complained. So please, let the show I, flow. I am complaining on behalf please. of my viewers. Please, you are making the, the, the show disruptive. He's flowing. Let him flow. Please. <laughs> Uh, Johnny, uh, and then uh, uh, what I what I will say is this, that the NDC technical team. You are saying that you you provided alternatives. To yes, the yes, and some of how, them. How did you do that? Well, because the president, the, the, our presidential candidate, the former president uh, <laughs> John Mahama, put up a technical team, <laughs> membership of which uh, you are aware are uh, world class people who have managed uh, 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 situations like this elsewhere under you United Nations mm. under. Uh, in their own capacity and everything. So everything they put forward is based on, on, on the science. And I am surprised that my brothers uh, basically rubbish uh, uh, that. But uh, I mean, I can leave that. I'm, let me reiterate the point I made. I'm saying that this so-called easing by say, suggesting that International Central Gospel Church, their main auditorium, mm. can probably take more than a thousand people. Right. Even if they do one meter spacing, they probably can take 200 or 300. Mm. What is the point of limiting them to 100? Well, I'm, I'm saying that the science behind this should be much more clearer. There's a church which is only maybe 100 people in a small space like this. They can't take 100 people. 100 people in that small church space will become a crowd. So I'm saying that whoever wrote the script for the president mm. didn't consider the fact that Churches are not standard sizes. Do you understand yeah, that, what is maximum? That, that, Do you understand yeah, what is maximum? Reverend John in Team for Joe. <laughs> I'm surprised. Kwame, Kwame, there are two legs to that conversation. But Kwame, he's misrepresenting what the president Reverend said. Reverend John in Team for Joe, allow me to do my job. Absolutely, that's what I expect. <laughs> so, Kwame, there are two legs to the conversation. Yes. One, a capacity of 100 yes. or 25 percent capacity of the size of the auditorium. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard the president say yesterday. So if, for example, ICGC has a capacity that can take more than maybe a thousand, maybe a thousand five people, and now you're reducing, you're reducing it to twenty five percent of that number. That, that that makes meaning, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> I, you 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 are right when you say that the churches can do twenty five percent. All I'm saying is that the management of that twenty five percent or hundred people. It's not as simple as the way the president takes it because it takes more people mm. to be able to organize it, logistics and other things. And a church has got a thousand membership. Mm. You said only 100 or 25 people can attend. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, okay, he said the church is a pastor. I'm not. Mm. They are prepared to determine who comes to church, who doesn't come to church. Mm. That's not that, what I said. Uh, uh, to them. That is not what I said. But you see, I go back to the same that point is that not what I this said. is all to, like the president boldly said, mm. to pave the way. For EC and I to go on the illegality they are doing, and also for the <laughs> NPP, the president himself. The, the churches have been asking to go back to go look, back. Look, look, you see, no, no, you see, the school this, children say they want no, to go no, and no, complete no, their exams. No, and move no, on with their we lives. are not. We are talking about two different things. I'm saying that when we when they interacted with teachers, what did they say? We are not ready to go under this condition. And I'm saying to you that the announcement by the president that we are going to fumigate your school has not it's not a solution to what the teachers <laughs> are complaining about in fact so what's the solution it's, the solution is to sit down further with them if mm -hmm. third years are supposed to go and write exam mm -hmm. how are they going to be able to go and write the exam without with, 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 the only thing that came out of the announcement is the fumigation that is why i latch on the no. fumigation that if you the fumigation, if you don't read it Honorable, I could be very disappointed. No, 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 in fact, it's something you, Johnny, and the TV3 network should find out quickly. How much they are spending on the soap of fumigation. Mm -hmm. You just heard him say that, the president said that PPE is, is a wash with the country. I thought you guys did a story recently that Danfa. There's a health facility in Danfa, which is still crying for PPEs. Based on that, the former president, John Mahama, has been going around <laughs> raising and distributing this thing. And I'm saying that we are not there yet. The figures the president put out cannot be equated to any amount of money. And I'm saying that 16 billion, in fact, upon all this money, this morning, by the time you finish, when you go to buy your fuel, Upon COVID, you're going to pay more for your fuel. Meanwhile, we have handed almost free 16.5 billion Ghana city to this government under COVID alone. 
<laughs> and I'm saying that the performance of this government under, under, under COVID <laughs> is woeful. If I have spent, I have, I so, want so to say, you, you the, the, the lifting of restrictions uh, it's, 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 it's is not, still it's, timed. It's not, it's not informed by any science. And the method methodology and is not bad. It's not, it's not for me to give the methodology. Okay. The president hasn't science. given any methodology. Oh, the fumigation is an attempt to take money and distribute to NTD people. And then the, the third years going to school, there could be a better way of, of, of doing this. But I can tell you for a fact, there are no schools, uh, school compounds closed down for uh, uh, four, uh, three months now, which is infested with COVID. Reverend <laughs> also says, finally, Reverend says that the fact that some places might not have had water doesn't mean that people are not washing their hands. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Johnny, 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 allow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny, let me tell me, tell me how, you wa how, how, you, how you wash your hand without water. So tell me who washed his hands. Tell me who didn't wash his hands. Tell me who didn't wash his hands. On this program. I've seen it. Reverend, Reverend. Especially, if you if you be kind to me. It's not your time. Okay, if you be kind to me. You see, any time you interject, I will demand the same amount of time if it's given to you. Uh, John, if you be kind to me, thank you. John, if you be kind to me, just a minute. What, what are we saying? You just contradicted yourself that in the US. A few messages this morning, Johnny. Johnny, it's really hard for me to comprehend why the president continues to ease restrictions on social gatherings when confirmed cases of COVID-19 are soaring like petroleum prices. Has the president abandoned his borrowed phrase, we can bring back the economy, but we cannot bring back the dead? What informs the lifting of the ban on religious activities? Is it by uh, pseudo science? Reverend... Uh, Reverend knows that the only reason behind the lifting of the ban is politics and elections. Any which way, the end of this government is near. Chris from Ashalibuche. Hi, Johnny. Please ask Reverend to keep mute for us to enjoy the program. John Avogbedo, rise from Tadi. Hello, Johnny. In fact, you do all. You really ask questions of my choice. Thanks so much. I'm not getting explanation that Honorable Reverend is giving can uh, he please take his time so that we, the viewers, can understand him? Thank you, Bernard Akaku uh, from Afife. Uh, good morning, Johnny. The president's relaxing uh, some restrictions is a scam. After church service, will the members go out together or they will leave the church room or hall <laughs> in tents? Who is going to monitor and ensure adherence? It is sad a moment for Ghana. He's thinking of the next election than human lives. The MPP will surely pay for this. Eben from Uduma said there. The president has done well by lifting some of the restrictions in the country, but people should also take the precautionary measures and protocols seriously not to continue the spread of the disease. Uh, our son, uh, John in Indebugri from Binduri. Charles Nyame writes from Asaman Kese, My deepest disappointment last night was the omission of packages for frontline teachers. And please, if we should commend President Ekufuado for the COVID-19 recoveries, who should be blamed uh, for the cases and deaths on? Uh, let's not forget there are still some countries which are uh, to rec record a single case and uh, which are yet to record a single case and other, others which have recorded fewer cases and deaths. Johnny, I have a concern. If most of our case counts of COVID are not exhibiting the signs and symptoms, don't you think it's more scary because when they end up infecting the vulnerable, our fatalities might increase so we are not threading cautiously at all. Aram writes uh, to us from Adenta New Site. Hi, Johnny. My name is Ochrehana from the Volta region, Hokwe, to be precise. Easing of restrictions thus only final year students to report to school is a good one from the president. Good morning, Johnny. Please ask the government rep what science and data inform them not to test students and teachers, even schools in endemic areas. Dan uh, writes uh, from uh, Banana Inn. So who really advises the president on many issues affecting the nation? The president only interested in the next election instead of well-being of Ghanaians. This is Shaggy from Nima. Hi, I just can't understand government at all. How can you reopen schools without opening the borders? Have the government, uh, the government forgetting that they are... F there are foreigners in the schools, Abba. We need positive action. He is not just following the father full step at all, but what are, uh, whatever he does with the EC and NIA, but on December 7th, uh, will show him his level. Not so clear. In Demawa. I would want to pause here by way of message because we don't have a lot of time. Okay, uh, let's wrap up with this one. They, yesterday, Circular came out um, 29th May to see distribution list, and it says. Um, <laughs> 
review of bust margin effective 1st June 2020. Now, we write to inform you of a review of the bust margin and the price buildup of petroleum products effective 1st June 2020. This is in line with the decision taken by Cabinet and communicated to the National Petroleum Authority by the Ministry of Energy. The revised bust margin to be applied on each product is uh, as indicated on the table below. Product petrol, old, old margin is three uh, cities, uh, new margin is uh, six cities. Diesel, three cities, new margin is six cities. Kerosene, three cities, new margin is six cities. LPG nil, uh, MGO local nil, premix fuel nil, MGO foreign, three cities, six cities. Uh, gas, gas oil mines, three cities, six cities. Essentially, what it's saying is that as it's a 100% increment. And please find attached the revised template for the computation and submission of export prices reflecting the revised bust margin for your information and necessary action signed by Al Hassan Tampoli, the Chief Executive Officer of the NPA. Reverend, the first question that comes to mind is well, we are not in normal times, we are in difficult times. Global prices of oil are falling. Why are we getting our cabinet increase? Uh, prices by 100%. By the way, this is just the base. So the oil marketing companies will now have to put their small, small profit on it, which means we could be paying more uh, than what the people had anticipated at the pumps. Is the timing right? How many minutes do I have on this? Uh, well, we have five minutes in total to end the show. Yeah, so I'll, so I'll, I'll give you two and a half. I'll give you two and a half. I'll take half of that to address a few okay. very important things and to state that um, the contradictions that my very good friend on would just stated. Um, in his outset, he stated that in the United States, when President Trump opened churches, a lot of the pastors and the re religious leaders, you know, shunned going to church and they, 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 they did not find it necessary to even go to church. But he makes a contradictory argument when it comes to Ghana, when easing of restrictions are done in graduated manner to mm -hmm. say that uh, uh, the, the maximum capping of 100 people in the, con in the congregation is even too small, mm -hmm. and he, he probably is arguing for more. And that th these contradictions are very, very unfortunate. But again, I'm, I must also state that is it, uh, on, on, unless NDC announces that they are withdrawing from December 7th election, the December 7th election, then they must stop accusing the government falsely of, 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 of every very prudent, well-meaning decision that the government has taken in response to the fight to COVID-19 has mm -hmm. been election motivated. Uh, they, 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 must, they must desist from that. Okay. And, uh, and until they say that they are going to pull away from the uh, registration of new voters uh, uh, register, the new compilation that is expected, you have one minute then, more, then, then they, they must state their mm -hmm. position so we know clearly that they are not going to take part in, in the registration, they are not going to take part in December 7th. But if they agree that the December 7th election is what must be done under very safe conditions, just as other countries did when it was the election time, then we all must, uh, with a concerted 30 effort, seconds must more, sir. But lastly, mm -hmm. I, I want to encourage voluntary testing. Mm. Voluntary testing by public officers, by the media personalities, by opinion leaders, by chiefs, and, and, and to follow the example, the shine example parliament did, recently there was, a, there was a, a, a mandatory testing that was done, and I advise that the communication of same be transparent, be circumspect in a way that will encourage other um, institutions also to do same. Okay. And, and, and lastly, on this fuel matter. You have finished your time. You're, on this, you're on finished, this, no, I'm sorry. You have finished your time. On this fuel no, matter. You have finished your time. You know, Kwame, we, we, Kwame, I told you. I told you, market I told you that we have two, five Kwame minutes. We're sharing. Dynamics. You chose to use your time. I'm sorry. Please put his microphone off for me. Thank you. Kwame, uh, 2.5 uh, minutes for you. Yeah, Johnny, it's very disheartening today to wake up to news that government have decided to increase the price of fuel through the tour. And let's get it clear, government. like you have said. No. This is not about the fact that the price of crude on the world market has gone up. This is a deliberate decision by Dr. Baumia and President Akufuado you know to the, increase the, the tour margin. This is, yeah. this is money that comes directly. No, but it's a deregulated no. market. Right? No, no, no. No. But do you, what what so, did you read again in the communique? He said, cabinet took this decision and communicated. Cabinet took the decision, so in one vein you are pretending that when we give you 16.7 billion Ghana CD, you are paying my part of my electricity bill, my water bill. But you are taking back that money through many other means, including no, increasing the, 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 the that is not what it is. worse than that. This, Reverend, is, Reverend, this, is, this, is, this is the level of inconsistency the we, 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 are, we are talking about. 
Which and market so dynamic? In fact, if, you know if, the look, price Reverend, I, Reverend, I, 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 Reverend, you know I don't, the, I don't think you're being you fair to Kwame. Reverend, do you know the price? Reverend, Reverend the price? I don't think you're Reverend, being fair to you. Know you had your time. You've used your time. Let him have his time. Let him have his time. Reverend, look, Mr. Hughes, the letter you read didn't say that because the price of crude oil has gone up on the international market. Did you read that? No. What did you read? You read a statement saying that cabinet took a decision to increase the price. No. Is that not what you read? Is that what you read? That, is that what, what you read? It, is, that what is, what is, you is, read? is that what you read? Is that what you read? So for the avoidance of that. Okay, hold on. For the avoidance of that. That is not the case. Okay. Uh, and, and what, what is that? Mr. Hughes, yeah. clear the air. Look, I am ready to see the rest of my time. Read that letter. Where is that community? For the avoidance of doubt. I want a copy of that community. For the avoidance of doubt. Yes. May I read? No, in this day that we see a lot of those communities. Yes, so it says that we yeah, write to inform you mm -hmm. of a review of the bust margin in the price buildup okay. of petroleum products effective 1st June 2020, which is today. Okay. This is in line with the decision taken by Cabinet Good. and communicated to Mr. the Mr. National Mr. Petroleum Authority by the Ministry of Energy. The revised bust margin to be applied on each product is as indicated in the table below in 3636. Mr. Hughes. Signed by Mr. Hughes, mm. what was the premise? Was it based on uh, the price of crude oil in the, the national market? You don't, market? Know, you don't know what cabinet knows, do you? But this is a decision. The only factor. De de decision. And, and I'm saying that the price this of is a situation products, where people have lost their jobs. No, no. Have you? People, people are, are you apprised of the recent increase in, in the price Mr. of AGO? Mr. Hughes, for the first time. Are you apprised of the, the, of the increase in AGO and the finished product? Okay. If I want to refer to you my don't know. the program will not be the way. What I was expecting for. I was expecting for your time. Uh, Reverend John Intim Fojo is the member of parliament for the Asin uh, South uh, folks. Uh, and also Kwame Agoja is the member of parliament for Adaklu. Uh, Reverend, this morning you have not, uh, you have not helped me. You, you have not helped me at all. You have not helped me at all. You have not helped me at all. No, because you have had your time and, and, and you, I'm, getting, I'm getting a lot of messages.